So in this video, we'll discuss about the post method and the post method is primarily used to submit data to processed by a specific resource. When a client sends a post request, it typically includes data within the request body. And the data is intended to be processed by the server, which might involve creating a new resource, updating an existing resource or trigger some specific actions. So post requests are not item potent and meaning that sending the same post request multiple times can result in different outcomes or side effects each time. For example, if you think about submitting a form on a website that creates a new user account would involve a post request. So in this lab, we'll talk about post request and we'll see that how we can go ahead and create specific interfaces using post. So we'll start with the, the import modules that is import request, import JSON and pretty print. And then we'll define our uh, URL. Now the URL is uh, interface because we are creating a new loop back here. So that's the reason we are just going to the path till interface and then we'll create a new one. We'll define the HTTP headers and the HTTP authentication and the same as HTTP headers will be the accept and the content type. And what we are, we are using here is JSON. Then we'll define the authentication with this username and password of the device. Now in the response, first we'll get the information about the device, which all interfaces are there to verify. And uh, then we'll see how we will able to create. We will have only gigabit ethernet and the virtual port group interfaces that has been there. So this is the interface output. Two interfaces have already been there with the device. Now we will create a interface loopback. So now first thing we need to have a variable and with this variable we'll define the configuration of the device using the same um, Yang model, whatever we got it from the interface perspective to create it. So you will see that we will creating a loopback one description using Python request library loopback IP address and this is a string now we'll give a response using a request dot post so now we are using post request and then once we have a post it will have a different syntax so we need to call the data and we need to call data as the payload variable that has been defined so now we send the request and whenever we'll see the response code now so the response code will be seen from the status of it status code and then we'll see that 201 which has been created now let's verify it whether it is created or not so we will use again the response as get request for the interface and with the get request we don't need the data payload so we'll remove it and we'll change the request dot get so we'll change that data in the json load response dot text txt and then see the interface which all interfaces are all there. So if we access the keys with that, we'll have gigabit ethernet, loopback and virtual port. So the loopback one now being created using a post method. So further we can go and uh, see the loopback using again the accessing the complex data structure and we'll get the IP address of the loopback that has been created. If you see the uh, payload, so payload variable will have the same IP address. So this is how we created using request library with the method post and we created a loopback in this rest api using python so we are using the request library and we already been discuss about get how we will retrieve that information using so first three variables are important you need to have the url you need to define the http header you need to define the authentication and then you need to call based on the URL and the syntax, what request that you want to use as get, post or patch. So thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoy. Thank you. Have a nice day.